Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the film Vice Raid, which is an American film produced in 1959. There was a gang of criminals and they were dedicated to many criminal activities and one of them was a phony model agency which was actually a cover for prostitution. Then the same criminal gang, it sends a prostitute from Detroit to meet a policeman who was trying to dismantle this criminal gang. However, this criminal gang had a plan which was to frame the policeman who was trying to arrest them so the prostitute would pose as a real model and she would well, talk against him, saying that he wanted bribery, that he was trying to seduce her, and lots of chaos was created in the life of this policeman, and he's kicked out of the police. Of course, that he wouldn't accept this injustice because he didn't do anything wrong. It was it was just a plan of the criminals to harm him. So. He tried to look for the woman, this prostitute, but at this point she had already became the lover of the leader of the gang. And this leader of the gang, he gave her a very luxurious life. And then, in the middle of this situation, uh, it arrived by total surprise in the prostitute's home, her younger sister, coming from her small town and she had just graduated from school she was very young and she truly believed that her sister succeeded as a model of course that her older sister didn't want her to stay but she did she couldn't send her back to her city so her sister remained there and she wanted to become a model too she asked her sister to become a model and then some members of the criminal gang it, they attended the house of the prostitute her sister thought that they worked with her the model agents meanwhile the policeman who was kicked out of the force he tried to, uh, to make up a plan so he could have his revenge and end with the criminal organization once and for all. He created, together with one of his colle colleagues, who was still in the police force, he created another fake model agency to be in competition with this criminal. So he would, so the criminal gang would believe that this former policeman became a criminal too and a competitor of them. So he asked for many women to come to pretend that they were models, but it wasn't neither a model nor a prostitution agency. It was just a cover up for a police investigation. And for the policeman being able to investigate, he created this another false model agency. And of course that the real criminals, they got very angry with this competition. And then the policeman who was kicked out of the force, he looked for the prostitute again. He asked her for her help, which would be betraying her lover. Of course, she said she wouldn't do it at all. Then the policeman left. However, another mem member of the criminal gang, he was trying to be more intimate with this prostitute, even though he knew she was the lover of the boss of the gang. She tried to force his way with her. She rejected him. She told him to be away from her. And then this member of the gang, who was very close to the boss, by the way, he created a terrible plan. He had met the prostitute's sister in her apartment before. He told her he was uh, an agent of a model agency. Then he called her sister 
told him to go to his apartment because he wanted to introduce her to other people who could make her become a model. And the younger sister, she had no idea of the real occupation of her sister and she went to the guy's apartment and she was assaulted and raped there. And when her sister got to know who did that, that it was the member of the gang she rejected, she told that to her lover and told him that her sister was assaulted and to take revenge on him, that he should do something to punish this guy. Then her lover, who was the boss of the gang, told her that he wouldn't do anything because this guy knew the operations of the gang inside out and if he did anything against him, he would tell about the activities of the entire gang to the police. Of course that this woman was totally angry and disgusted with that and then she took the decision to cooperate with the police against her own lover. She did that, she bugged, she helped to bug a meeting of the gang that they would have with this former policeman because by now the real gangsters they were convinced that the former policeman became a criminal too however the bugging was found out in the middle of the meeting but the police arrived and the criminals were arrested anyway and then we can see in the end of the film that both sisters returned to their hometown to start their lives all over again which means that the older sister who was a prostitute she regretted doing that and that she wanted to go straight she realized that that life wasn't worth it and then the policeman said goodbye to her to, to the both sisters as they came to the bus to leave the city it's a nice film but i should warn that the descriptions of criminality are more heavier and more crude than films of the era of course that for example the assault of the younger sister isn't shown fortunately but there are some violent attitudes of the criminals and some descriptions of criminal activities that are a little bit more explicit than we are used to see in a film of the era. The actress who played the prostitute was Mamie Van Doren, who was one of the many actresses who followed in the footsteps of Marilyn Monroe. She had the same kind of hair, bleached blonde, she had a beautiful body, was seductive, classy, but her career never took off really, because she was more used to B-films, low-budget films, she never had an opportunity to show her competence, even though she could sing well, she could act well, but uh, after that height of the femme fatales, the blonde Marilyn Monroe style women, her career vanished and she was no longer an actress, but she really, really acts well. She's very convincing in this role. It's a very emotional role, but she got to do it well. And it's a nice film. I really recommend you to watch that. That's all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you.